Hello, I'm Vivet and today I will show you a little video about um, a pretty big thing. Um, if you go in the settings app and then go to system update and like updating via Wi-Fi, the PS Vita should find the version 3.00 and this version adds compatibility with the PlayStation 4, which means the new kernel exploit could be released soon. But for now, let's see what this firmware 3.00 has. There we go. Linking with the PlayStation 4, some parental control stuff, panoramic camera feature, group messaging has been renamed to messages, party icon has a bit changed, PlayStation Network has been renamed, okay, and other stuff we should refer to the website of them. Okay, next. And update. It's also most likely that they fixed the um, Parapuro exploit, which was Japanese only for the firmware 2.61. So, if you have that exploit, don't update. Any previous exploit like arcade darts. Game Crossy 1, Apache Overkill or Uno is also of course fixed because there were other farmers before that did this so we need a new game for the farmer 3.00 but if we have this we actually could get VHBL and TNV if TN releases it on the new farmer 3.00 so we have both a new farmer with PS4 compatibility and e firmware, well, or VHBL, depends. Okay, the download is nearly finished, now the Vita should restart and install the firmware. And it does. Shutting down, starting, and we should be still in the system updater, there we go. System update, please wait. It's interesting to mention that um, if you look at the XML updater files, where you get the links from the updater files, um, they've changed the updater file a bit. They added a new row, I think it's called NP underscore D, but I'm not sure what it does. So we will have to see what it does and how to use it. Also worth to mention that this is firmware 3.00. It's most likely sure that OpenCMA version 5, which was working for firmware 2.00, up to 2.61, so that was a bit lucky. And we most likely need a new version, which, well, would be OpenCMA version 6, but we will see. Also interesting to mention is that even though it was not in the updater changelog, um, Sony announced the feature that you can transfer f um, files via Wi-Fi between a PS Vita and a PS3 and this was finally added in this firmware. It's most likely sure that you can also transfer files between the Vita and the PS4 via cable and Wi-Fi. I mean, why not? If the PS3 can do it, why not the PS4? Okay, the update ins is installed, the Vita restarted again, updating database, oh, okay. A bit annoying, but okay. And we're nearly done. We can nearly see our new system, rating system version, new features and stuff. Okay, there we go.
I would like to note that this little banner um, starting the game, Gravity Rush, it disappeared a much faster than usually. There we go. This got renamed to P3 Remote Play Party, got a new icon on the all new messages app. Let's see. Or does it still look like the same? We got here settings, receive automatically, okay. Create message. Uh, friends. Okay. You can have up to 100 friends, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. Um, picking the ID of a friend. Okay. Some random junk and send. The message it feels much faster and smoother than before, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Otherwise, the new whoops party icon. Let's see if party ch itself changed, or if it's still the same app. Connecting to PSM and then an upscore SM. Most likely Sony Media. Whatever. Uh, you have to create a party. Nope. I never really used this app, so I'm not sure if and what changed. Okay, next P3 Remote Play. Also the cross controller. Oops. Okay, I don't have a P3, so I can't display this. Sorry. The other stuff that was mentioned were trophies. It should be possible to... Um, where is the settings? Um, to... That's a bit weird. Privacy settings. Show trophies for this game. Okay. There you go, you can now disable showing trophies for specific games. So if you have like a game with just a few percent, like most of my games, well, except for Gravity Rush, or you have some games you play for a platinum trophy, but you don't want others to see it, you just can hide it. But enough of these apps. We can see the PS4 Link app is now available. Information, name, PS4 Link. And Parental Control, also a new app. Sony really likes to put all the stuff in apps. I mean, I put all the stock apps in one folder, but now I need a second folder because that's taking up so much space. Let's go. Parental Control. To parent or guardian, with this application you can restrict it. Blah, blah, blah. Set passcode. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Yeah, they most likely added that for parents. Features not blocked. You can now block, for example, the browser location data. Game level. Oh. Okay, um, since... Wait, that's weird. It's showing USK even though my game... Oh my system is in English. I guess it has something to do with the PlayStation account. Level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, off, not restricted. Play duration. That sounds pretty interesting. Strict during day. 23 hours should be enough. Well, this looks pretty interesting. You can really say you play on Friday just two hours and not longer. Playing ring. Playing duration does not include the time while using the application or updating the system software. Okay, at least something good. That's pretty, pretty good settings. 
I mean, it's kind of dickish to do this, but... Zero, 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 zero. It does sound interesting. No, the new PS4 Link app. Let's see. Remotes play. Second screen. Oh, there we go. We now know on the PS4 there are the settings called PS Vita Connection and the settings. I mean, I don't have a PS4. So, can't really do this. But the app itself looks interesting. Okay, since I was not in the settings app yet, I will go in the settings app. And, oh, the PlayStation Network got renamed. System. Anything new? Auto start. Messages, email. Da, 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 da. Wait. Download update files for system software. That's interesting. I would say you should disable this function. Better safe than sorry. And there we go. Farmer 3.00. Anything else? Let's see. Looks the same. Looks the same. PSN. Let's see. It takes pretty long, or my Wi Fi is again. I guess my Wi Fi timed out. Um, here's nothing new. Wait. Why can't I enable or disable this? Does this something have to do with the parental control app? Features. Not blocked. Not blocked, not restricted, not restricted. I'm still thinking, why can't you... There we go. Disabling Wi-Fi. Enabling Wi-Fi. That most likely fixes my Wi-Fi glitches at the PS Vita. And now PS in category. Should s search for Wi-Fi and then go in the category. There we go. Okay, these settings are German because my account is German, but otherwise... Privacy settings, yeah. I'm not going to input the password. PS Plus settings, which I don't I don't have PS PS Plus anymore. Devices Bluetooth. Okay, this was not new. Notifications. Download status. Anything new? Does not look like that. Uh -huh. They at least could have added the features I've seen in the debug farmer, like a 30 minutes, 60 minutes and off. Why not? Format, yeah, I'm not gonna format stuff. So yeah, this is a new farmer 3.00, my first impression of it. Um, it looks pretty awesome. It feels a bit faster than the previous 2. Point whatever farmer is. And pretty cool is that it has a PS4 link app. So. Prepare your PSN wallet, be sure to um, look out for a ninja exploit, because we might release a game soon, so you can get TNV, that's right, and e the Farmer for the new Farmer 3.0. TN said he will release it somewhere between November and January, so it's, it might be a Christmas present. I'm dead, and see you soon.